Ho ho ho, Zeke Lane and everybody else, what's up, how you doing? Welcome to my uh, daily uh, Fallout 76 uh, notification video. Today is Tuesday, we got a whole bunch of stuff, and as you can see, Santa Claus outfit has returned. So, it costs 700 atoms, and you get the outfit, the beard, and the hat. Uh, plus, we got the uh, backpack skin for the Santa... Backpack? <laughs> And that's how it looks ladies and gentlemen so at the end of the video by the way we will cover the daily and the weekly challenges so let's start wasting time and jump right into it all right so let's navigate to the atomic shop and see what we got we also got a free item but unfortunately it's only for the follow first uh, membership owners all right so uh, first things first the Electro 2000 Fireplace, I'm definitely going to grab this one because it looks cool, plus I like it. So I'm going to grab this one for 500 atoms. Then we got the Candy Claws Paint, uh, that's for the Mole Miner Gullant, so if you're using that you might want to grab it. Uh, but 500 atoms, I mean, I mean it's still cool though, it looks nice. Uh, then the Santa Backpack that I already showed you goes for 500 atoms as well. Uh, then we've got the uh, gingerbread couch. I'm not gonna get this one unfortunately. I don't want it plus I'm out of atoms. Uh, gingerbread coffee table. Same thing. I'm not gonna get it. I don't know. Uh, well, it's really super optional. And gingerbread chair as well. Not gonna get it. Uh, wait, are these also given? I thought, I oh, know. These ones are always give. These are free, right? Okay, they, I think they messed up somewhere in the feature section. All right, then we got the uh, Red Rocket Bundle has returned. Mm, I already own most of them, apart from the garage door, and it's still showing me that I can buy it. But what the hell? <laughs> Ain't that a little bit overpriced? Uh, by the way, yeah, the, your first question: Can you actually blow it up? Yes, you can. The only way you can do it is by if you put the flamethrower trap there uh, and aim it at your um, red rocket and then you trigger it it kills the tr it kills destroys the red rocket and that's how the red rocket explodes when it's destroyed but then you're gonna have to repair it the jumpsuit pip boy color the bed and the door so if you want to grab that one Aluminum or whatever how it's pronounced. I do apologize for me guys. I'm not mispronounced that uh, We got these Christmas trees I Would actually you know what would love to get some items where we can decor the Christmas tree that we received from the previous uh, Tuesday update, you know, so we can decor it ourselves. I mean I, I Don't know even 700 atoms for that. Mm, no, thank you. Then we got the snowman for 500 atoms. So many items. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Waving Santa. Alright, that's cool. But I'm out of atoms and I don't think I want to pay 700 atoms for a waving Santa. <laughs> or, you know, $7. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Claus outfit. All right, this one I grabbed it instantly. I really wanted it and 700 atoms uh, that's the price for the outfit so if you claim it you get the hat you get the outfit and you actually get the beard I'm not sure why they haven't shown it here they also actually get the beard so that is weird but anyway have in mind that you get the beard as well candy cane skin for the walking cane not gonna get it 500 mm -mm. no thank you Winter frame. Wow, 250. Are you serious? This is no. This is definitely no. I mean, you could have reduced the price for that. These things should be free. But, okay, I get it. it's New Year's, but like 50 atoms, I would go for it. But 250? No, thank you, man. What is this? A player icon for 150? <laughs> no, thank you. Elf girl. For 50 hey, hey but no no thank you all right from the follow-up first uh, we have the holiday survival tent uh, decorated version oh so it sort of glows inside once okay that's cool 
I'm gonna grab it. Oh, of course I'm gonna grab it, it's free. Uh, and I'm gonna show it to you as well how it looks like once we're done. So the Ultraside Prototype Pain is back. I've been back multiple times. Oh, let me change my mouse so it doesn't trigger that one. Raider, Wolf Boy, and Girl Set. No, thank you. Mothman Bad, Wallpaper Set. This one I would recommend to get the. This one is like one of my favorite wallpaper sets, so definitely might want to take a look at it. Nuka Cola Neon. No, thank you. I'm not going to grab it. Glowing in the Dark Map. This is a good map. I would recommend to get it. Raider Vending Machine. Alright, we had a, actually a big discount for that. I wonder what's the discount for it now, if there is any. I bought it for 250 atoms. Don't have my passion house in front of me right now. Uh, Mudflop Headset. Mm, no. No, thank you. And this one is free if you haven't claimed it so far. It's available until the 31st of December, so if you haven't been logging into the game, Feel free to log in to at least claim that thing, trust me. You will say thank you to me later. <laughs> Once you, like for example, decide to return when the DLC comes up with Wastelanders and so on, and like, man, I should have logged in in December, at least I'm taking that thing. <laughs> anyway, Corvega Turrence, no thank you. I don't barely use Turrence, to be honest. Camouflage Pain's been returning a trazillion of times and uh, shown it a trazillion of times. Skull Mask. It would be really nice if it wouldn't break some hats. It's sort of like sticking out, so there are like limited amount of hats that you can actually wear with this outfit. So it's just a mask. So then we got the Super Mutant, uh, the Super Mutant Paint for Sledgehammer, uh, Super Sledge. No thank you. Survivalist outfit is a really good outfit. You get the outfit plus the mask with the hat. Well, the mask hat is combined, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I survived frame. No thank you. Lucky cover. No thank you. So, oh yeah, these are the atomic sales and you sell every day, so I'll be covering these items on a daily basis once they pop. So, uh... I believe this one is today's camouflage paints. And this thing is leftovers basically. Uh, let's just quickly grind through these sections over here and plus you'll see what I own just in case so I didn't miss anything. Because usually it happens that they don't they don't put everything onto the uh, featured section. Okay, Thanksgiving, okay that we've covered. Okay, Santa, yes, yes, yes. And Okay, that we've covered. Okay, that's it. There's nothing else. Hey, what the hell? Oh, okay. Alright, so let's take a look on how the tent looks like. For that we need to run away from my camp. A little moment. Oh, there it shows where I'll be able to build it. To bypass that thing right there. Come on. Oh, wait, my bad. Uh, the atomic shop. I need to select it first. There we go. Selected. Now it should work. Now. Bam. So, okay. Decorations. I wish we could do these decorations ourselves. Maybe we can. I just don't have the lights or something. Okay, now that's cool. Why can't we just buy it <laughs> in the atom shop? It's a really nice one. I like it. And a good looking Christmas tree with presents. I would love to buy that in the atomic shop what the hell come on that's not that's not cool like if we could replace this Christmas tree with the decorated stuff that would be freaking wicked I guess Bethesda is uh, gonna give it to us with some next following weeks updates like 
next Tuesday, I believe. Because trust me, they will deliver. I have a good. Eh, well, they will deliver. I'm telling you, cause, you know. By the end of the day, it's all about the money to them, right? So I'm pretty sure maybe we're gonna have some sort of this Christmas tree up and running. So that would be cool. More decorations for camps would be really nice. I guess I'm gonna have to buy some Adams, and maybe I'm gonna buy the standing Santa Claus. And actually, maybe it's time for me to move my camp. And the Christmas tree I was talking about, this is the one we got in the previous Tuesday. And it'll be really nice if we could at least decor this thing, you know? But we can't. And um, in whatever case, out of budget. And we can't even put the lights. <laughs> I thought I was the smart one. <laughs> well, that freaking sucks, doesn't it? Oh, wait. I just saw something. What it? Yeah, you see? That freaking sucks. By the way, how did these glow? Oh, cool. I'm happy that I bought it. <laughs> Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much it for this video. So, oh wait. We still got the dailies. My bad. <laughs> got carried away. Alright, let's go take a look at the dailies weeklies. And then I'm gonna call it the end for this video. Atomic shop? That's good. I mean, I'm happy with the Santa outfit. Alright, so now let's take a look on the daily challenges and afterwards we're gonna take a look at the weekly challenges and how to complete them. So these are the challenges. I've marked the ones that I'm gonna actually complete, definitely, and that at once I'm not gonna skip out on. So uh, in the daily section we'll we need to do is to craft different kind of camps five uh, five basically to earn ten atoms then kill feral ghoul in a nuke region kill five of them and you'll get additional ten atoms I don't think I'll be nuking anything today but uh, hope, I hope I'll be able to play with Z client today a little bit offline and soon I'm planning to resume the streams in the next few days by the way uh, so yeah I'm not sure if I'll be able to do this one or maybe go to the adventure mode I don't know we'll see then kill scorpions in savage divine this is like the most annoying daily challenge there's one good like two spots uh, that you can visit find scorpion and have a chance to find scorpions I'll share those locations with you uh, level up while completing any of these three sub challenges at the same time so level up while 76 or higher in a workshop under level 20 wearing sleepwear full clown suit in caves mines exploring new region well tuned well rested yielding an axe diseased engaged in PvP intoxicated actually am I gonna do the diseased or intoxicated uh, with well rested and 76 okay yeah I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to complete this one as well today in scrap board game I'll show you where I'll find my board game so let's start off with the uh, camps so in order for that to work let's put on our chemist and go to our chemistry station right here then we go to drugs bam a cap buff counts as two <laughs> then fury counts as two and bam ten atoms completed sweet all right, let's remove that perk card back to scrapper because I like my scrapper. Come on, where are you? All right, there we go. So the next one, actually, let's talk about scorpions. Uh, scorpions is top of the world. You may find one scorpion, but it's not 100% guaranteed to, that it will pop there. It could be ticks. It could be different other types of creatures. And the best one is middle mountain cabins. Uh, there you have a chance of finding three scorpions or three bears or three honey beasts or whatever they're called. So I'm gonna give a stop at the top of the world, see if we're gonna be lucky. This is the area where we spawn in. Once we fast travel to this location, we need to run over here and pray that this is gonna be a scorpion. No, nope, it's not gonna be a scorpion, it's gonna be stupid blood pet. Blood, blood cockroaches. Come on, man. Alright, let's try our luck at the middle mountain cabins. 
Alright, so here we are, and we got a legendary Yogi Bear. Three star, not bad. Hello, hello. And I completed one of the weakness. <laughs> we'll get to that part in a second. Well, unfortunately we didn't get any uh, scorpions, but this is the best location. I'll be stopping by this location a couple of times to find those scorpions. Or you can server hop and definitely find yourself your scorpions, but everybody knows this location, so beware that <laughs> it's going to be a pretty tough one. <laughs> Alright then, let's go to White Springs in order to get our board game for the scrap to get the 10 atoms. So, this location everybody knows and there we go, our first board game. If we can go inside and get some more board games as well. So, inside there should be a board game over here as well. Getting a whole party of dudes. Hey! Alright, let me finish them off. Alright, so I finished those guys off. There are some more board games uh, in this location, so let me show you a couple of more. And this is the same route we're actually going to use in order to get to uh, the scrapping, the scrapping station over there, or inside, whichever, or whatever. You know. <laughs> There's another board game right here, so you pick it up. And pretty much, I mean, those board games are pretty easy to find, but I think this should do. This should be more than enough to share with you in order where to find your board game. Afterwards, just uh, let's go run to a scrapping table, do our scrap, and get our atoms. Call it a day. Ooh, check this out. Aren't that lucky? A million. Yeah. And we do the scrap. Poof! Complete. And another quick 10 atoms. Alright, let's see if I haven't missed anything from the dailies. So, the scorpion I mentioned, Feral Goals and Nuke Regent, White Springs. If you see Nuke, just go there, kill five of those guys who get additional 10 atoms, everything else I've covered. Uh, kill players, kill two players in Nuclear Winter and get yourself per card. So, for the weeklies. Uh, Volt Mission, so what Volt Mission do we have? Washout, Ants, and so on. Crickets! Oh, I think that's the one. Ladies and gentlemen, the Washout, I think, is the one. Crickets, this is a really nice Volt to get a lot of acid, baby. Yeah, but we have the Holiday Gift thingy. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to do it. Because, I mean, acid is really nice. <laughs> Alright, then complete quests and events while in a group at night. Eight times and you get 30 atoms. Craft or scrap clothing, weapon, armor. Uh, okay, so this one you will 100% do if you just loot everything and scrap everything. Or you can, for example, craft 50 throwing knives and scrap them and you should get your 40 atoms. Harvest berries. So... Blastberries, uh, cranberries, firecrackers, uh, tar berries, blackberries, starlight berries, bomb berries, Jesus, and so on berries. So, gather these berries. You need to gather, like, for example, these five and 50 of those, 50 of those, 25 of these, and so on. Once you complete that, you'll get 20 atoms. Man, they should award more atoms for this one. This one's a pretty hard one. Uh, when the quest hunter hunted while wearing different costumes. Oh man, I'm not even gonna bother doing this one. This is this is first of all, it's a, this is a stupid event. I don't like it, and I don't know. I never do it, so I'm gonna skip out on this one. For those who do not know, what is that event? It's you go to your radio. I'm on adventure mode. I mean private server. But anyway, you trigger that thing on. And the event will start as far as I know. I, I don't do that one. I did that one at beta during beta days, and that's it. I, I don't plan to do it again. So, and pretty much kill five legendaries, and you'll get 30 atoms. The uh, Santa scores also count because they are legendaries, so you complete this one like really super fast. It's only five, so we're good here. And that's pretty much it. Let's let us just do these weapon thingy right now together. 
so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the super duper. Bam. We'll come here. Initiate craft. Go to throwing weapons. And let's do these ones, whatever. Oh no, wait, those take up wood. Oh wait, it's not counting. Huh. Where is it? Ah wait, I didn't uh, put the counter. Right. Let's check. Ah, they count. <laughs> Lol. And there we go. Super easy one. 40 atoms. No problemo. So let me check. I haven't missed anything. Challenges daily. Okay, daily I definitely covered. And covered. I think I'm going to do Vault 94 missions this week. I want to earn a lot of acid. Because during this acid in one run, you can get up to 400, 500 acid per run. Which is insane <laughs> so z clan and everybody else you know the drill don't forget to hit that like comment down below and uh let me know your thoughts and please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered i receive them i read them but i delete them have that in mind other users don't see your comments that contain f bombs the other thing is please do not promote third party websites that sell gun scab services whatever for real money that is something i do not support and if you're to promote such activity you will get banned and the other one if you know of any like bugs, game glitches, and so on and so forth, please don't let me know about them. I really do not watch exploit videos, I don't use exploits, and I know sometimes you share those with good intentions, but it's something that I really don't want to be aware of. The best thing we can do is to submit a ticket and inform Bethesda, hey, you got bugs. <laughs> <laughs> or exploits or whatever. Well, you know the drill. And if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Saul from Ukraine. So, have from Ukraine. And I'll see you on the next video. By the way, don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on the live streams and daily videos that I upload here on this channel. So, Z Clan, everybody else, you have a good one today and night. Whatever you guys located at. And I'll see you on the next video. By the way, by sharing this video, you really help my channel grow. Thank you. I appreciate all the support.